In this video, we're going to see if we can extend the life of this trailer deck using the farmer method. So sit back and I'll show you what that means. Gosh, it's bright out today. So I bought this equipment trailer last spring and um, you can see the decking needs a little bit of work here. So it is pressure treated wood but it's seen a lot of time in the sun so it's starting to get weather checked and I'd like to not have to replace that decking if I can help it. So I was going to put some sealer on it or some stain or something like that and they're all like 50 bucks a piece so I got to looking on the internet here and I heard about this method that the farmers used to use where they basically took a combination of diesel fuel and used motor oil, mixed them together and slapped that on there. Now it's supposed to work really well where it seeps right in and then it'll beat up the, the water really good from the rain and apparently it doesn't get real slippery where you like track it in on your, your shoes or anything like that once it seeps in. So we're going to give that a shot today. So I have plenty of used motor oil in around my various projects from my tractors and boat and whatever else. And I also have diesel fuel because I have a diesel lawnmower um, and I have diesel tractors. So um, I've already dumped out some diesel in here. So I'm going to go, so the proper ratios I've seen anywhere from 50-50 to 60-40 to 90-10 to whatever. So um, the most common one seems to be about 60-40, So I'm going to do something like that. So I basically filled up this jug about halfway here with diesel and I'm going to top it off the rest of the way with used motor oil. So that'll be a little bit a little bit um, more than a 50-50 a mix. It'll be closer to that 60-40 probably by the time I'm done, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump some oil in there, shake it up, and get to work. So I'll, uh, I'll bring you back um, after I've done that. All right, so I've got my jug all uh, mixed up here, shook it up really good with my diesel oil and uh, used motor oil. Um, so I guess the, the method, uh, people will spray it on, people will brush it on, and people will roll it on. So I actually happen to have some rollers laying around in a tray. So I'm going to go ahead and dump my, uh, dump my oil mixture in here and roll it on, and I'll let you guys watch the process, and we'll see how that looks. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, set you up on the tripod, and away we go. All right. Enjoy the time lapse.
All right, well, first coat is done. Um, you can see a lot of that just seeped right in. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat. Like you probably saw in the video, my uh, roller stick wasn't quite up to the task, so I made a quick splint for it, so just to get us through the job here. But anyways, yeah, that stuff started seeping in really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a second coat here quick, and then we'll see what that looks like once I'm done here. So I'll set you back up and uh, you can see time-lapse number two. second coat is on you can see it didn't seep in quite as fast as the first one but um, I don't know it's looking better here so definitely darken up the wood quite a bit so now we're just gonna leave her sit probably over overnight here and come back in the morning and see how it looks so I will uh, bring you back in the morning stay tuned until then all right here we are the next morning um, you can see that that really soaked into the wood kind of nicely there too so um, just taking a look down here um, there are some areas that look like they could use some more. So now, you know, running my fingers across there, I don't know if you can see that or not, but 
I'm getting very little on my finger, so I don't think this is going to be a problem where it gets slippery or anything like that. And just even like I, I've stood up here and rubbed my feet around, it doesn't feel slippery. So um, I'm going to give it one more quick coat just because it looks like it could use a little bit more. And then we're going to leave it. So um, I'm going to give it one more quick coat. You guys probably don't need to see that. You've already seen the montage a couple times now. So um, I'll bring you back once I put on this last coat and we'll see how that looks. So stay tuned. All right, I guess that would be the third coat is now on. So I did notice at that time that coat uh, took a lot less to cover. Um, so it seems like that's probably going to be the last one I need to do. So what I'm going to do is let this sit for a couple days. Let it really seep in good. Let the sun hit it. And um, I'll bring you back. See what it looks like in a couple days. And I'm also going to bring you back. It's supposed to rain later in the week. Show you what it looks like during the rain. And see if it's, how well it beads up the water and things like that. So, um, yep. Like I said, we're going to let her fester for a few days. And then we will bring you back. So I'll see you in a couple days. Alright folks, here we are a couple days later. It's actually been pretty warm and sunny. So the sun has been beating down on it during the day. And it's been getting cool at night. So those pores on the wood have been opening and closing up. So... Um, the color hasn't really changed much since the last time I showed it to you, so that looks good. Um, I rubbed my fingers over it, and I'm not really even getting any residue on my fingers like I was before. So that is seeping in. So that's very promising. Um, so tomorrow it's actually supposed to rain, so I'm going to take some video tomorrow when it's raining just to see uh, what it looks like, see if it's beating up the, the water or not, or you know how it's reacting. So I'll bring you back one more time tomorrow, and we'll see what we're looking like. Stay tuned. All right, well, it rained most of the day yesterday and all through the night last night. We had some pretty nasty storms, and I know it's hard to see here in the picture, but it di it is beating up the water really, really well. It doesn't look like a lot is seeping in, so in fact, like the stuff that um, we don't see the bead marks actually feels kind of dry. Uh, the smell has kind of gone away since the rain, so it seems like it's doing what it's supposed to do. So I guess I'd call that a win. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully this gave you a different option for, a cheap option for uh, staining the top of your trailer or sealing the top of your trailer there. So not necessarily recommended because you are using diesel oil, or diesel and the used motor oil, because some of that will get on the ground and whatnot, but um, it's gonna work for me. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, until the next one, signing off.